Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, let me start with you. Did I hear you say in your opening statement that there's no link between mental health and social media use? Senator, what I said is I think it's important to look at the science. I know it's people widely talk about this as if that is something that's already been proven. And I think that the bulk of the scientific evidence does not support that. Well, really, let, let me just remind you of some of the science from your own company. Instagram studied the effect of your platform on teenagers. Let me just read you some quotes from the Wall Street Journal's report on this. Company researchers found that Instagram is harmful for a sizable percentage of teenagers, most notably teenage girls. Here's a quote from your own study. Quote, we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls. Here's another quote. Teens blamed Instagram, this is your study, for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. This reaction was unprompted and consistent across all groups. That's your study. Senator, we try to under, understand the uh, the feedback and, and how people feel about the services. We can improve Wait a minute. Your, own, da your are... own study says that you make life worse for one in three teenage girls. You increase no, Senator, anxiety and depression. Says. That's what it says. And you're here testifying to us in public that there's no link. You've been doing this for years. For that's... years, you've been coming in public and testifying under oath that there's absolutely no link. Your product is wonderful. The science is nascent. Full speed ahead, while internally you know full well your product is a disaster for teenagers. Senator, and yet that's you not keep true. right on doing what you're doing. That's right? That's not true. That's not true. Here are some here's some information from a whistleblower who came before the Senate, testified under oath in public. He worked for you, the senior executive. Here's what he showed he found when he studied your products. So, for example, this is girls between the ages of 13 and 15 years old, 37% of them reported that they had been exposed to nudity on the platform, unwanted, in the last seven days. 24% said that they had experienced unwanted sexual advances they'd been propositioned in the last seven days. 17% said they had encountered self-harm content pushed at them in the last seven days. Now, I know you're familiar with these stats because he sent you an email where he lined it all out. I mean, we've got a copy of it right here. My question is, who did you fire for this? Who got fired because of that? Senator, we study all of this because it's important and we want to improve our services. Well, you just told and me a second ago you studied it, but that there was no linkage.